Now let's see what are ISO cost lines. I've already told you ISO means equal. So ISO cost lines are also called as equal cost lines. Very simple to understand. But what exactly are ISO cost lines? ISO cost lines are nothing but those lines which give you sorry uh, ISO cost. But what is ISO cost line? ISO cost line is nothing but the amount that the producer will need to spend by employing a combination of factor of productions. We have seen under isocons that a isocon curve gives us various combinations of factors of production that we need to employ, giving us the same level of output. But do all the inputs come at the same cost? No. It might be possible that land might be costlier than capital or labor might be costlier than land or capital might be costlier than labor. So the cost of all the factors of production is not same. Thus, when we change the combination of factors of production, our cost also changes. And this is what is denoted by or represented by the ISO cost line. ISO cost line gives us the level of expenditure or the level of cost that we need to incur by employing different combinations of factors of production. When two factor combinations are employed, what is the combination that a firm can employ within the given budget, within the given sum of money. So we can draw a parallel here between the ISO cost line and the budget line. Budget line was from the perspective, from the point of view of a consumer, wherein the consumer had a limited budget. He had to be within his budget. Same is the case where the producer wants to know what is the cost of various combinations of factors of production. How will his cost change if he changes the combination of factors of production? 2 lakh rupees 200 laborers and 2 acres of land may not cost the same as 1 acre of land, 400 laborers and 2 lakh rupees. I have changed the proportion of land and labor here. The first combination possibly might cost me more the second possible uh, the second combination might cost me less or otherwise may be the case so we see that when we change the level of inputs the cost also changes the expenditure that we need to incur also changes so iso cost lines are those lines which gives us the expenditure the budget or the cost of employing two factors of production now if you remember in the iso quant curves we had seen that the producer may employ various combinations of inputs various combinations of factors of production so, if we employs a particular factor of production, let's say the combination A. AB is the 
cost that he might need to incur or let's say he employs combination b cd is the cost that he might need to incur let's say he employs combination c ef is the cost that he might need to incur so on and so forth because all the factors come at a cost so when the proportion of factors is changed the cost also changes so now it is important for the producer that he minimizes his cost he chooses that level of he chooses that iso cost line which minimizes his cost at the same time he has to maintain a particular level of production as well now for this reason we combine the two concepts we mix the two concepts that is the iso cost curves and the iso cost line the iso cost lines give me the cost of various combinations whereas the iso cost curve gives me the various combinations of the factors of production which will give me the same level of output